What's up guys, Leprechaun79 here, um, this is going to be my first video on the Baja 5B build, I'll be putting some pictures up also of like the steps I've taken so far, well, not of each single solitary step, just the kind of the sections I've built it in, but as you can see I've got a, a mess, I will actually take the camera off the tripod there and I will show you guys how messy this room is right now <laughs> because of the 5B SS. Um, here it is. This is what I've got done so far. Don't know if you guys can see it from there. So I'll be coming over here. Anywhere. Anyway, there's the uh, 5BSS. I got the uh, fuel tank in. Um, the throttle servo. Servo. I got a high tech 645 AMG with 133 ounces of torque. Should be plenty for a throttle servo. It's not a steering servo, so. Yeah, why can't I say servo right now? <laughs> anyway, the steering servo's in there. Uh, I got the front end built, sway bars. Uh, pretty much, you know, or it's just the whole front end. Shocks are going to be coming on pretty soon. Tires, all that good stuff. Uh, chassis, bumper. So, yeah, this may not look like a lot of work, but this is hours and hours of work. But this thing is so much fun to work on a build though I doubt after I buy a few more kits unless I'm really impressed by a kit and really want a kit or I mean you know a, a, an RTR should I say not a kit if I'm really impressed by an RTR I will buy it but I'll tell you guys if you haven't built a kit you need to do it it's like I don't know it's so rewarding when you see it come together and stuff and you know all the screws are in tight and you, know, you may make mistakes here and there, but it's it's fun. I mean, building a kit is great. And if you guys haven't built a kit, don't be scared of doing it at all. Uh, just if you want a kit, just go out and buy it and do it. I mean, it's not hard at all. I mean, I'm sure you guys have worked on your cars. It's no different than working on your car. It's just, you know, it's no different. You just you know, you just build the kit. So just like you tear apart a car and to work on it and put build it back up, it's just it's the same thing. So don't be intimidated by it, guys, at all. And usually the instructions are pretty good. They've been really good on the. Uh, 5B. So I highly recommend, I don't know, getting a kit and building one, whether it be a 5B SS or anything at all. So, But yeah, guys, it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying the whole process. Um, what else was I going to say? I'll be putting pictures up of the, you know, the different sections I've built, like the uh, electronics box with the servo and all that. I don't have a battery for it yet, but I'm going to order a Venom battery of 5,000 mAh battery. It's a lot bigger than the stock battery. Uh, let's see here. What else was I going to tell you guys? Um, a kit that I'm definitely going to be getting in the uh, spring is going to be the JQ products of the car. Hands down, it's going to be the next, that's going to be the nitro I'm going to buy. That's going to be the first nitro I'm going to buy since my 10T. Uh, it looks like a really promising car and JQ makes great um, products. It's their first car, so should be cool. Uh, they've been working out for a long time. I'm, I'm pretty stoked to have it. Plus it's a buggy. Buggies are cool for nitro. Uh, let's see here. What else guys? Got my Futaba 4PL. All that stuff installed. So it's going to be powering the 5B. Um, so yeah. Oh, and you guys have not left hardly any comments on what kit you want to see. The kit's got to be under $300. Um, it can't be Traxxas or HPI, um, preferably not like Duratrax or anything like that, you know, a, a, a decent brand, please. No Red Cat. <laughs> but, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so leave comments on a kit that you guys want to see. Under $300, has to be four-wheel drive also. Um, so far the two kits I'm looking at, and it's the only ones that anybody's posted on my channel, is the Kyosho DBXVE is what I think it is. One guy posted a comment about that one and I looked it over. It's a 110 scale buggy. It looks pretty promising, pretty cool. So, might be getting that or the Off the Hyper 10 TT unless you guys vote. Or if you guys just would like to see one of those cars, you can vote between those. Um, that'd be kind of cool because both those kits are really cool looking and I would, wouldn't mind having either of them. So, alright guys, well, I'm just going to show you the mess here that I've got and I'm going to call it good for the video. And it's, Put some pictures up at the end, and you guys can see what the process has been. All right, guys, what's up? Again, here's my building partner, Diamond. 
She's my pit bull. She's 12 years old. She's in good health still. She's my baby. Uh, here's the box. That's sitting there. Got one of my RC tool boxes with a bunch of crap in it. Tires for my RC18T when I do get it, because I still want to get one. I've made up my mind I'm getting the RC18T for my Mini. Some Baja parts. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do we got here? 4PL box. This is my basement, by the way, thank God. It's not my upstairs. Um, just a bunch of parts bags. Let's see what we got here. Ashtray for smoking when I get stressed out. <laughs> Last night I got pretty stressed out with the 5B. Uh, one thing happened. I, I, I don't want to go into it, but let's just say I had to use three pairs of pliers and a hex wrench to get a nut out. I mean, to get a bolt out from where it should have. Shouldn't, well, it, it was supposed to go there, but anyway, long story. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, let's see. Cigarettes. My servo box. The laptop. I use that to I keep it down here to talk to my buddies on vent while I'm working. 5B manual. 4PL manual. Another, that's the top half of the toolbox that was over back that way. The 4PL. Another toolbox. This is a toolbox that I highly recommend getting, guys. It's, you can put all kinds of crap in these and keep all your parts organized, and these all come out, which is really cool. It's made by Husky. Let's see, there's the. So it looks like, and then this lifts up. Also. That lifts up, goes all the way back. And there's there's like compartments back in there and stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's a nice toolbox. It's a great. My dad actually picked it up for me when he was at Home Depot. He thought I could use it. So. Yeah, and that's what it looks like. If you guys are want to go get one, it's got a carrying handle. And it's the. Uh... Oh, you guys read that. I don't need to read it to you. But uh, that's the toolbox. And my photographer pills keep it's falling. Okay. And I want to show you guys. Go to the forums and <laughs> register. This is the website end of it. It's not up yet. Um, it probably won't be up for a while. Mitch and I are still working on it. Uh, if you're wondering who Mitch is, that's Jagger2637 off of YouTube. His videos are pretty cool. He doesn't do RC stuff, but he does some pretty hilarious videos, and you guys should go check him out. Once again, big shout out to Mitch for making this for me. So you just go click on there. Forms are now live. Let me do that again so you guys can see. Because there's there's a lot of subscribers, not many registered to the forums yet. <laughs> but thank you who have. Forms are now live. Click there. That'll take you to the LRC forums. And then you can go up here and hit register. See, look at all these posts, guys. Those are all posts. Lots of good useful information there. So you guys should go register for the forums. Check them out. I'll be making LRC stickers soon. And that's it. So guys, remember, comments about what kit you want to see. Alright, Leprechaun79 saying peace.